Here's a happy update to a story we first brought to you over the weekend. Peaky Paws Search and Rescue needed help funding a new air conditioning unit to keep all of the animals in their care nice and cool as the temperatures start to warm up. And the community responded. Anissa Martinez is live in Selma at the shelter where they're getting the help they asked for. Good morning, Anissa. That's right. Good morning. Yes, the community really stepped up this weekend when we first brought you this story. Lee's Air Plumbing and Heating reached out as soon as they saw our story. So I'm here this morning with Crystal. She's the owner of Pinkie Paws Search and Rescue. Crystal, can you tell us just what this gesture means to you? It, it really means everything to us. Um, I mean, I feel like I won the lotto. Um, Lee's called us Sunday morning right after the story and it's just this is our, our biggest donation yet in our 18 years of rescue and it was it was seemed like it was too good to be true um, but I mean I am so very thankful and we're so excited because we're really stressed and and worried about the dogs but yeah and especially <laughs> with the heat starting this week right yeah, yeah yeah and you mentioned you want to give a message to the community to the ones who took the time to donate what would you like to say yes uh, also there were four other companies that offered to donate um, so we will, we will thank them too um, for anyone who donated to the GoFundMe, um, we can get your refund. So just contact us and let us know. Otherwise, it will go to the animals. And we do want to introduce, we have a guest here, if you want to bring out Nova. Nova, our Freeway 99 dog. So how else can the community help dogs like Nova? Well, we definitely need adoptions and foster homes. We are taking donations to repair roofing in our outdoor kennels. And dog food is our main expense and vet bills. Um, we're also doing a cleanup here. We need several cleanups out here so we can use help with the volunteers to just follow our page. So watch out for the events for some cleanups. All right, Crystal. And before we toss things back, is there anything else you'd like to let our community know about that you think is important? I am just, uh, thank you, Sheldon and Fox 26 for always sharing our stories and getting our help. Thank you, Lise. Oh my gosh, thank you from the bottom of my heart really, and the community that keeps on calling, offering swamp coolers. I'm updating everyone as I can, and again, thank you. All right, thank you for being here with us this morning, Crystal. We're gonna to toss things back for now. Yeah, so we're gonna be installing an AC unit, and uh, we're gonna be replacing out the old one that they have. Our owner of the company was actually scrolling through his social media feed when he saw the request, and he actually responded out to KMPH, that's what it is, KMPH, right? Yeah. So we responded to KMPH and got some of the details regarding the, uh, the request. Well, he decided that he wanted to actually donate a unit, so he reached out, we got the contact information um, of the kennel, and we just made it happen. Do you guys do things like this often, or is this just like a one-time? You know what, uh, that's, that's a great question. Uh, if we see someone in need, we'll always reach out and see how we can help. Um, as a matter of fact, this, is, this isn't something new to us. I mean, people think that we're in the AC business or the plumbing business or roofing business, but in reality, we're in the people's business. And so this is a very natural thing to us. We love taking care of people. We're a people first company. And so, um, yeah, we do this quite often. We as a company think it's very, very important to serve people. So uh, this gesture is just something that's out of our heart that we wanted to do. It's not something like we were forced to do or do it for the publicity or any of that. We, we love taking care of people. And so, um, yeah, that's what, what brought us out here. Yeah, so Pinkie Paws, they were very, very ecstatic about uh, us coming out here. I mean, they even made a Facebook post and I think the Facebook post drew in like over 200 likes within a matter of minutes and so, um, we don't get that many likes on our social media, so the fact that they were able to pull that together and you know helps us out a little bit. Um, but it was just it was an it was an amazing um, reaction by them, and and we're super grateful to to actually come out here and help them out and uh, yeah take care of them. Hi, I'm Monty Torres with Fox 26 News on YouTube. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel, where we have loads of great content for you to choose from. And while you're here, why not click on the subscribe button right here? That way you can stay in touch with all the latest breaking news, everything news related within the Central Valley. And thank you for watching.